The Ig Nobel Prize is a very strange prize in science because it's primarily a prize for science that makes you laugh and then makes you think. So in many ways it's a very backhanded compliment for the work that we did on dung beetles and showing that dung beetles look at the Milky Way to orientate themselves. And so the prize itself is uh, its really um, awarding eccentricity, but it's the people that are thinking outside the box and are doing things a little bit different, but still science that's interesting. Orientation and navigation are absolutely essential for every organism on the planet. You cannot find your way anywhere in a straight line unless you orientate yourself to a fixed object, like the sun or the moon or the stars, or even a big building. And so we'd been working on dung beetles for a long time because they are such fantastic animals. They, they really are cooperative in that they just want to move this ball across the surface of the planet. So you can basically ask this animal any question you like because he will respond. If it's a clever question, you'll get a straight answer. So we'd been working for days and nights looking at the way different species use the sun or they use the moon. And then as the moon went down, we sat one night under the Milky Way in the uh, Kalahari and just looked up at the sky and thought, if we can see those stars, the beetles must be able to see those stars. And so it was, it was, it was creative, but it was sitting talking, it was just working with an idea and then drawing it out and finding the answer. Well, once you know your organism, you know how to ask it the right question. And the simplest way to find out if a dung beetle can look at something on the sky or look at something in the sky is to put a little cap on him. So if you give him a little peek so he can't see the stars and then watch how he behaves with or without the cap on, then you get your answer. It's a very, very straightforward thing. And then we were able to take it further. We took them into the Witz Planetarium and there we were able to manipulate the sky ourselves and also look at their response. So we started with a very simple experiment and then elevated to a very sophisticated experiment and we got our answer. Beetles use the Milky Way to find their way home.